Now, just before we go on, I always take a moment to talk about research integrity. There's lots of pressure on you guys to get your degrees, uh, pressure on the academic staff to publish, get going, etc., etc. Never overlook research integrity. And often we don't talk about it enough. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend a moment. Bernard, that, this was your word, hey, integrity. So, so very important. So integrity, it's, it's about saying what you think, uh, saying and thinking, believing, feeling and doing and acting. Um, so integrity is the cornerstone of research. What is research? It's about uncovering new knowledge. It's about understanding the truth, understanding what happens uh, around us. So it's about the truth. And if the truth is not what we're talking about in research, what are we doing? So integrity is vital. So there's this thing called the Singapore Statement on Integrity. You should Google it sometime. Singapore Statement on Integrity. It's a one-pager description of what integrity is. I like that because I get bored after reading one page. It doesn't go on for uh, pages and pages trying to define this. But I really want you to have a look at that. Because research without integrity is nothing, and then we're lost. Um, so those are some of the things that it covers. Uh, it covers adherence to regulations, research methods, research records, research findings. It's so easy to manipulate those. So you leave out the data that doesn't support your theory. You, you manipulate the data. You, you add data. You, you just so easy to change that. And, and so often nobody will find it. And once you go down that path, and it, it sounds ridiculous now, I would never do that. But believe me, it's so easy to get into that way of thinking. And once you've done that, then you're not doing research anymore. Okay. Issues about authorship. Have you heard those problems when, you know, it's my lab. My name is on every single paper. I don't know what you wrote in the paper, but my name's got to be on it. Those sort of things. Publication acknowledgements. I'm the statistician. Do I become an author or do I just get acknowledged? Those sort of things. The elements about peer review. Do you do it honestly, openly, and independently? Conflict of interest. Okay, so often decisions are influenced by conflict of interest. Public communication. Do we talk to the public about our science openly and honestly and give them the full picture? Or do they just do, we just say, don't, tr don't worry, trust me, I'm a doctor. You know, that type of thing. Uh, reporting irresponsible research practices. It's a responsibility of each one of us if we identify somebody else doing it that we need to report them. And that's a tough thing to do, you know. We don't necessarily go around trying to report other people. Responding to in, uh, 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 irresponsible research practices. So people like me working in a university research office, if somebody comes to me and says, I'm aware that X, Y, and Z is happening, then I need to take that seriously and investigate and un unpack that. Our research environment needs to be conducive and societal considerations are very important. I don't want to spend too much time, but I just want to keep in the back of your minds, as you advance through your academic career, integrity is vital. Without it, we are not doing research. Any questions, any suggestions, any thoughts on that? Do, do as you go along, feel free to talk about research integrity. So just... Research integrity deals with ethics, but it also deals with, for example, plagiarism and those things I was talking about, data integrity, creating data, ignoring data. So I love cartoons, and there's one that I enjoy. So there um, it says, hair care, none of the products been tested on animals. But of course, if your hair is made out of snakes, you need your hair care tested on animals. Otherwise, you might be harming them. Just a bit of fun there. So there's no right way to do the wrong thing. I, I don't want to become across too heavy, but please, this is vital for your success. Amen.